Hey guys and welcome to the Domain Hunter Gatherer video guide series. Filtering out domains based on quality criteria is absolutely the best way to find the best deals and the most desirable domains for your needs. Filtering can be done with auctioning domains, web 2.0 accounts and expired domains. For this example I'm going to be using the, the list of expired domains that we found uh, when we were using the, the keyword cheddar cheese. And to do this, to filter out these domains we go to the filter domains tab notice the add filter option this is used to add a filter option and we can add as many filters as we like and also save and load lists of filters for use later so they don't have to be set up every time and this is a great time saving feature and not to be overlooked so let's start by adding a filter now you see when you click add filter you get the add filter form and you, you click on the filter type to choose what filter you want to set so for this one I'm going to set a maximum character length of say uh, let's say 15 yeah you see straight away from the list of 287 domains we now have 145 domains showing okay and then say for example uh, we only wanted domains with at least some page rank so they're not unlisted minus one means that they don't have any page rank listed at all so setting it at naught uh, doesn't mean that they don't have page rank it means that they have the minimum page rank or more so it means at least they're they're considered in the page rank algorithm so so now we have a list of 46 domains uh, that have a page rank and a relatively small uh, character length now you may want to remove a selected filter and you can do that simply by selecting and right clicking on any uh, of the filters or you can clear the filter list entirely by doing so now you can use um, any combination of filters that you like um, for example you can get rid of all of the the domains that contain hyphens or also um, whether they contain numbers and that way um, you can make sure that your domain is relatively easy to to uh, type in if that's what you need also another good one is you can uh, filter by top level domain so say you only wanted .coms you can do so like that so it's ever so easy and that's all you need to do to set up your filters but if you had a set of filters that you're using almost every time or you're using them regularly and you don't want to have to add them every time you can simply uh, set them uh, as a sorry you can save the, the filter options quite easily so this one I'll probably call uh, hyphen number dot com for example you save that filter and then for later use you can load the filters in like that and it will automatically apply the filters and then every time you load that option will always be in there um, these controls are very much the same as um, the saving and loading controls so if you're not too sure about how to use these by all means go and take a, a look at the saving and loading video guide um, because it's very similar to the saving and loading of domains so if you want to learn more about that you can do from that video now the other um, filter option is a quick filter here so so we don't have any filters there and you just wanted to quickly filter by com you could do so with that very easy or if you wanted to from your list of domains you wanted to get all the ones related to chefs you could do so like that and so on it's really really quite simple um, and not a whole lot to it really so thanks for watching this video there are others like it for the different tools and controls within domain hunter gatherer so if you want to see more you can look up the videos on the videos page on the domain hunter gatherer uh, website at domainhuntergatherer.com or look us up on youtube if you have any questions regarding this video you can post them in the comment section create a support ticket in the members area or email me at support at domainhuntergatherer.com once again, thanks for watching and have a great day.